Catherine and I'm going to teach you guys how to find the molar mass of sucrose given the Kf of water, uh, a given um, amount of the sugar sucrose and a given amount of the grams of water. So as you can see here, it's number 414 on the problem set. And it states when 12.1 grams of the sugar sucrose, a non-electrolyte, are dissolved in exactly 800 grams of water, the solution has a freezing point of negative 0.082 degrees Celsius. What is the molar mass of sucrose? Kf of water is 1.86 degrees Celsius divided by molality. So first things first, we have to find the molality in order to find everything else. So, of course, the first thing that we're going to do, since we have this one right here, which is Kf, and we have the temperature, we're going to use those to find molality. So we're going to use the equation delta T is equal to I Kf of molality. So I times Kf times molality. So this will turn out to be negative 0 0.082 degrees Celsius is equal to 1 times the 1.86 degrees Celsius molality and then M. So since we're looking for M, all we have to do is divide the negative 0 0.082 degrees Celsius by the 1.86 and you end up getting a molality that is equal to 0.044086 and from there since we have a molality and we have the 800 grams of solvent we have to find the moles of solute of the sugar sucrose. So since we have the solvent, which is the water, what we do is we take molality is equal to moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. So since we're trying to find the moles of solute, what we do is put the 0 0.044086, sorry, and that equals the moles of solute over the kilograms of solvent, which is 0.800 kilograms. So all you have to do here now is multiply the molality times the kilograms of solvent, and you end up getting you end up getting 0.035 two six nine moles of solute. So now that you have that, I'm going to go ahead and erase so that I can finish the steps since I don't have enough space here. So I'm going to go ahead and erase and you can oh, go ahead, if you didn't get any of this, you can go ahead and go back and pause it and then just play it again whenever you're done copying it down. So now that we have this, we can use the 12.1 grams of the sugar sucrose. So 12.1 grams of, just going to put sucrose right here, over the molar mass. So molar mass is in grams. And that will equal this number down here, which is the moles of solute. 35269 moles and if you manipulate this whole thing to get molar mass all you have to do is divide the 12.1 grams of sucrose divided by 0 0.035269 moles and you end up getting a molar mass of 343 grams which is letter choice E. I hope all of that made sense to you. Uh, go back to the video the other part of the video if you missed a step and thank you guys so much for watching